this video, I'm going to be redoing my Harry Potter nails. I really, really like how this turned out, and everything I'm using I will have linked in the description box below. So the first nail is going to be the Forever Always nails, and I'm going to start off by stamping a swirl image in both metallic gold as well as a plain deep red, and then taking a black polish and writing the words Forever Always that Snape says at the end of the movie. I actually... Um, have a necklace that has this saying on it and it is one of my favorite necklaces. If you struggle with freehanding like I do, definitely try out freehanding with black acrylic paint or acrylic paint in general because it is so much easier. But if you do use acrylic paint for nails, make sure you t seal it in with a top coat. The next design is the howler letter or the letter and I'm just drawing a basic letter outline here with some with a red dot. Alright, next up is going to be the House of Gryffindor nail. Now this nail is completely customizable. You can do whatever house you want to do. Slytherin, Hufflepuff, uh, can't think of the other one for some reason. Ravenclaw. And then I just added some other stripes in between. And then I let this dry while I moved on to the next nail. And then for this nail, it's going to be the wall that has the nine and three quarters on it. And I just drew some off-white, like an ivory color uh, polish across the nail. This is going to be a very simplistic brick design. Brick nails are so easy to do and you really can't mess up a brick nail because of how easy they are. And then I went ahead and I let this dry for a little bit and then moved on to the next step after looking at another nail here. I just like to let each nail dry a little bit before I move on to the next step so there's nothing, uh, we don't get bubbles. The next step is going to be to take a ivory polish and I just sponge this over a teal to create the cloud effect that the word Harry Potter sits in in the beginning of the movies. And then of course I let that dry a little bit and then I moved on to this again. And I don't even know what you call the back of like a sign that had the nine and three quarters on it, but I want to let that dry and continue working on this nail. And for this, if you wanna try making this more intricate, you can. I, I tried to do that, but it was a little bit too difficult for me. So instead I just wrote HP kind of off balance a little bit. So it looked a little bit more crooked. Again, I would definitely try freehanding with acrylic paint if you struggle with that as well. All right, so for the golden snitch, I just painted a little stud with some gold polish, let it dry. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and do some feathers on each side. And that is the golden snitch with the Gryffindor nail. Again, you could totally do whatever house you want. I just tend to do Gryffindor. All right, so because I wanted the nail to look like the words, the nine and three quarters were engraved into this here. I did go ahead and let this dry for a few minutes, but I went back in and I just freehanded it while it was still wet because I wanted the three or one of the measurements to kind of sink into the polish to look like it was engraved. Again, everything I'm using, I will have linked in the description box below. All right, and the next up is the polishes that I used. I used Orly's Persistent Memory, Sally Hansen's Black Heart, could not pronounce the other one, Zoya's Biscuit, Zoya's Moki, I want to say, Essie's Mindful Meditation, Zoya's Sylvia, Essie's Caught on Tape, and that is it.